You guys know that we're a Porsche shop. We also have other vehicles that we work on, AMG cars, M cars, Lambos and Ferraris. And uh, we had this tool sent to us to try out. We typically use all factory tools, uh, but I wanted to give it a shot because sometimes it's nice to have a tool that we can just take with us and do like an inspection to pre-qualify the car for getting inspected. So we typically use all factory tooling, but let's see how this thing performs. It's a launch tool. So I wanted to see how well it has. Typically we just like to have a tool that we can check data on and to see how well this tool performs against some of the other ones out there. So let's see how good this tool actually works. Obviously we only work on Euro. So let's find a Porsche. There it is. This is the first time using this tool. So I'm trying to figure out how to navigate it. That's actually pretty straightforward. If I can use it for the first time, so can you. So if you have something that you're looking for just to do like quick scans, obviously, you know, anything with, you know, they also have mobilizer functions. I've never used those. We typically would not use that. We only use factory tooling, but we don't know what the implications are. So we just use our factory tool for everything. We simply use these for scanning and looking at data and then comparing it always to another vehicle is always good as well. So here's our system scan. We can do all the health checks. So let's do system scan. Let's see what we got. That's pretty fast. And that's all the modules that this vehicle is equipped with. It's gonna look for fault codes. So that makes it really convenient so we can see if there's any issues here. Um, and of course on our display, we have this display in here telling us that it is running a test on all the modules in here. Convertible top, so that's gonna skip there. So now let's go to see what we have in the DME, which showed no fault codes, and that's exactly correct. We have no fault codes in here. So my important selections here are gonna be our data values. So we got special functions, and these are all the components that you can activate or do adaptation reset. This is pretty cool. So it's got quite a bit of searching here and quite a bit of options we got oil filling which when you fill up the oil it tells you the level which is pretty cool um, so it's amazing how much stuff this tool actually has here's data stream here's all the general here's all the components that you can data stream so let's just turn some of these on and just see what happens obviously the vehicle is not running but they are working so it's got quite a bit of data here which is pretty awesome let's select all of them that's really cool. So for a pretty inexpensive tool, this tool has a lot of data to look through. You can unselect. So if you're looking for a tool that can do kind of about a, all the European makes, now obviously it's not gonna do everything. There's no tool out there that will unless you use a factory tool, but it's pretty cool that you can actually go into these modules and really get into a lot of the different uh, components. Let's do all, select all, and check what they're doing. So here's a couple of different things. So signal for the uh, latch micro switch is on, memory buttons, mirror adjustments, so that's all the voltages so you can, you know, if you have zero voltage, you know, there's a problem possibly somewhere in the circuitry of the mirror. So this is confirmation of what's on, what's working, window opening, 5.5% and that's because it's open slightly here. So that's pretty cool to see that uh, it does show that data. Yeah, it's a pretty cool tool. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything bad about it because uh, I think it does a good job and for the money that it costs, I mean, you really can't bad mouth it. Um, of course, there's other tools are there that's 10 times more and probably do the same amount. So I think for the money, pretty nice tool. Let's see here. Let's go to, let's go to Tiptronic PDK. This is actually a PDK transmission. Read data, let's select all of it. And let's see what we got. We got displacement sensors, kind of the items that you want to check for if there's a problem. So let's see what we got here. Look at that. It tells us all the millimeters and the, and the positions of the displacement sensors and they're live so would i recommend this tool i sure would let's go home see what else we can find so that's let's go back in here let's go back out let's 
Let's see, wanted to see one other thing. So here we go, instrument cluster. And we're gonna select some items here. Special functions. This is what's gonna be important. So tank calibration, yep, it has that. Reset maintenance interval, so that's pretty important. So if you're looking to reset your own maintenance and do your own services, this tool will do it. So that's it, this is a 991. And if we start doing an in-depth review of the tool, it's gonna to take hours because there's gonna be a lot of data. But from what I've inspected and when I did a full system scan, it pretty much opens up all the modules that are needed to do your basic diagnostics. Obviously, it's not gonna have all the programming and all the coding features, but none of the tools will unless you have a factory tool. So to get you in the door, if you're starting out, that's actually a, a decent tool. So uh, shout, good shout out to Launch for making a nice affordable tool that some of the guys that are working on these maybe at home can use. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.